Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Now it is Sunday, August the 7th. And I'm going to share with you uh, only six visions that were given to me yesterday. And I add in some vision from the day before and uh, the day before or two. Another one is from August the 4th. So everybody get ready. Remember that the Lord has given us two greatest commandments. That is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength. And to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So these are the two greatest commandments. And all this has been spoken by the prophets, by the patriarch in the Bible, by the apostle. They all, uh, how to say, sum up in this two greatest commandment. Okay? So, please remember that each day we move along the path of righteousness into holiness. Now, today I'm going, there's a song, is from Hallelujah Media. And talking about the true peace that the Lord gives to us. So that is in John chapter 14, verse 27. But we are going to read from John chapter 14, verse 15 to 31. And uh, I, you can type in Hallelujah Media or you follow the court, you go into the song. And, uh, and then we are going to read the scripture, okay? It's talking about peace that the Lord has given us. So, and then it's talk, also talking about the promise of the Holy Spirit. Shall we read? Uh, if you love me, Lord, say, Lord Jesus, say, if you love me, keep my commands. Okay, the two greatest commandments that I just now already say. So, verse 16, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, is a counselor to help you and be with you forever. And the Spirit of Truth, that is the Holy Spirit. All right? And then the world cannot accept the Holy Spirit because it not because the world neither see the Holy Spirit nor knows the Holy Spirit, but you know him because he lives with you and will be in you. You see, before Lord Jesus was crucified, died on the cross, or uh, rose up from the death, and then ascended in heaven into heaven. So before that, he said. Because this Holy Spirit, of course, is the Spirit of our, uh, of the Father and the Son. So the Lord, uh, Lord Jesus told the disciples, "You know Him. That means you know Jesus. You know Jesus. Then you know the Holy Spirit, for He lives with you. Because Lord Jesus lives with them. You see, and it will be in you. That means the Holy Spirit will be inside them." Verse 18, I will not leave you as orphans, just like the world is going through a very difficult time now. It's getting worse each day. And the Lord said that he will not leave us as orphans, orphans, okay, without father, without mother. And I will come to you, come to rescue you, all right. Verse 19, before long, the world will not see me anymore. That's talking about his death, but you will see me, that means, uh, as you know, the Lord rose up from the death and his disciples saw him and then he ascended in heaven. All oh, the disciples watching him going up. Okay, And then the Lord said, because I live, you also will live. All right. Verse 20, on that day, and that's why it's so important for us to acknowledge the resurrection of uh, Lord Jesus Christ, the ascension and so on. Okay? He rose up from the death. All right. In uh, in Russia, they believe in this. Uh, how to call it? Uh, the 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 name. Okay, it's called what kind of uh, Christianity? Is the Orthodox Christianity? Or Orthodox Christianity. And most important to them is Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Jesus is risen. Okay, to them this is the more or less like every every day's uh, phrase that they speak each day okay every day they say christ is risen in the church they say christ is risen because christ is risen that we have hope because christ is risen that we have the salvation okay so this 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 is a very beautiful uh, phrase okay or beautiful sentence christ is risen that happened in russia in many european country even in serbia even in Greeks, those believe in uh, orthodox, orthodox Christianity. Okay, Orthodox Christianity came out 
uh, from the Catholic. Catholic is the original one, but it's you no know, later a lot of differences, okay? And then uh, the Orthodox came out of the Catholic, and then there's 1,000 years plus ago, 1,000 years plus ago, and then later the Methodists, you know, and all the other came out uh, maybe two or three hundred years later, or hundred years plus later, and later they got many different denominations. Okay, verse 21. The Lord say, uh, okay, verse 20, sorry. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Okay, Lord Jesus say, I am, you are in me, and I am in you, and I am in my Father. In other words, we are in the Father too, right? Okay, so verse 21. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. Okay, so the Lord say, whoever has my commands and keep them and follow and have uh, action. Okay, it's the one that who loves me. Let me love Jesus Christ, okay? The one who loves me, Lord Jesus said, the one who loves me will be loved by my, by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, okay? Uh, then Judas over here saying, oh, in the Chinese Bible saying that the one betrayed Jesus, but over here saying not Judas, Iscaria, okay, and say, but Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? And Lord Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. So, you see that um, the Lord only reveals to his uh, disciples and the Holy Spirit can only come into the Christians, okay? As I just now explained in the Chinese version, okay? Can you imagine as the disciples be asking, you know, uh, this Judas, why don't you show to the whole world so that everybody will be safe? Everybody, for example, okay? That your father or your mother provide food to you every day. Beautiful, nice food, delicious food. Do you think you will thank, uh, thank your parents every day? You take your parents for granted. You, take, you think that you deserve all the uh, food and you deserve all the shelter and you, you don't have a thankful heart. Just like what happened to the world today in the West. Because of the comfortable life, okay, the government are so comfortable, good pay and so on. So they don't take, they take, sorry, they take life for granted. They take their position for granted. They take the world for granted and they're doing all kinds of evil things. They don't have a grateful heart. They don't have a thankful heart. Imagine everybody in this world, see God all the time, okay, see God, revelation, see God. And people will take God for granted. And when you tell them about God, they say, well, I see him. Everybody see him. What is that special with God? Nothing special, okay? So we human beings always take things for granted, take people for granted, take what we have for granted, and we take God for granted. And then Lord Jesus say, whoever loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and I... <clears throat> and we will come to them. I mean, the Father and the Son will come to those who love the Father, who loves the Son. Okay, and Father and the Lord say, my Father will love them, and we will come to them, come to the Christian, and make our home, that means the home of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit with them. Verse 24, that will happen when we go to the other side, okay? Verse 24, anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching, okay? If we obey God's teaching and believe in great faith, just like every day with so many visions, and if you, <clears throat> if anyone take <clears throat> this vision for granted, if Lily take for granted, 
Lily is very, very wrong, okay? So no one is to take God for granted. No one is to take God's uh, messages or teaching for granted, okay? That is very wrong. We always got to accept it with the grateful heart. Just like the food that we eat, okay? The home that we have, or the pencil that we are using, the book that we have, everything, the internet that we have, the phone that we have, we don't take for granted. We accept them, use them with a grateful heart, okay? Because they are all provided by God. And I still remember many, many years ago, there was someone, okay, eating the food, uh, saying prayer, okay? And then there's another person, a friend came by, took away the food to say, why do you want to say thanks? You've been working hard for the food, okay? You see, only non-Christian will say that kind of things, okay? We Christians shouldn't say that, all right? So, of course, we Christians do not do not do that. But we should also explain to the non-Christian, if today we don't have the breath, we cannot be here eating this food, okay? If we don't have God to provide all to us, as the Lord said, He provides to the Christian as well as the non-Christian. He provides to the wicked as well as to the good. Okay, he provides to the little, he also provides to the old, right? So, all the same. So, whether Christian or not Christian, okay, with the breath and with what we have, every individual in the world is provided by God. So, for those who are suffering, I ask we pray for the little children, for everyone who are suffering. We know that the Lord always comfort me, saying that I know, okay? Okay, don't be sad. I know, I know, you don't worry, okay? You just... And then, of course, God wants me to continue to pray, right? I need to continue to pray. But at the same time, I know that God is taking care of them because I have prayed, you see? So, when you pray, you believe. Believe that God has done it and He is going to do it and He is doing it now. So, most important thing is we need to pray. If we don't pray, how can we say, I'm sure and I'm sure that God will do it, God will do it. You know, this is to do with take things for granted, take God for granted. So, we never take God for granted, all right? So Lord Jesus said, these words that you hear are not on my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. Verse 25, all these I have spoken who are still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things and remind you of everything I have said to you. You see, this verse here, talking about the Holy Spirit, will reveal everything to you, to the Christian, will teach you all the things and remind us of what Lord Jesus has said to us. Do you believe this? If you believe what the Lord has said, you should believe that the Lord has given us messages every day. Because the, through the Holy Spirit, from the Holy Spirit, to tell us the messages from the Father and the Son. Okay? So if you believe this verse, verse 26, 1426. Okay? The Holy Spirit will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I say to you. So each day, we let the Holy Spirit to teach us. Verse 27, peace I leave with you. This is the main verse, okay? Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you. You see, peace is so important. When you pray and you send something from, the God, from God, you got to have peace. If you feel... If you, how to say, hear the voice or you feel that God is speaking to you and you don't have the peace, then don't accept it. Because when God speaks to you, He will surely give you the peace inside your heart. And you will, be, have, you will have the peace and you will be joyful. Even when you go through difficult times, when you are sick or whatever, you still hear from God, okay? You hear from God, that confirmed by the peace inside you. You have the peace, love, and joy. If you don't have, don't accept it. If you have, you accept it because the Lord has given you the peace. So, again, verse 27, the Lord said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, all right? So, I'm still trying to get in the, the mouse, correct? Okay. So here say, 
uh, I do not give to you as the world give, as the world give to you. Peace is is what this world accept as what peace, what peace, liberty in speech. Okay, you can say whatever you want, even it's lie you say. You, you can say lies. You can talk about lies. Okay, and you can have LGBT. You know, and that is a peace from the world. No, our peace is from our Father. Our peace is from our Lord Jesus. Through the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, Amen. Verse twenty-eight. So uh, you hear me say, "I'm going away, and I'm coming back to you." You see, Lord Jesus said He go away. He's coming back for you and me. Okay, it's coming for you and me. All right. So this include the rapture and also a person who leave this world. The soul, the soul and the spirit will go to the other side. All right. So if you love me. You will be glad that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I, or greater than me. Verse twenty nine. I've told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. Just like the Lord has told us so many things about the rapture. Okay, so you say it's so difficult to believe because I don't see. Well, if you want need to see it before you believe, then there is not the the faith. It's not faith anymore. Okay, it's the flesh. All right. So faith is believe without seeing it, but when it happen, you will know everything, right? Okay. Verse thirty. I will not say much more to you, for the prince of this world is coming as it is here. Okay. Is causing the world in chaos with all the lies. You know what happened to the West? All the lies. That's why even the war in Ukraine is getting worse and so on because of the, all the lies. Okay, from the wicked West through the main media through government, and look at the Ukrainian government. They lie, so they don't know how to solve the problem because of all the lies. Okay, verse thirty-one. That's why the Lord got so angry and saying that you are liars, saying to. I can't remember who that is. Okay, you know, you are liars. Your father is the fathers of lies. There is the enemy. Okay, I don't say the name. Okay, with the S with the D because the YouTube don't like it. Okay, verse thirty one. But he comes. Okay, God come. Uh, Lord Jesus said he comes so that. Oh no no, Holy Spirit comes so that the world may learn that I love. The Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. So come on, come now. Let us leave. So very soon the Lord will say, "Come now, my children. Let us leave." Amen. So let's look at the journal page as usual, expecting to go home on the twenty ninth and thirtieth of September. So the one being on the right hand side, please go to and、uh, try to understand what they are talking. I mean, the visions that be given to us few months ago or last week or the. Sometime before, all right. So I've already explained in the previous videos and all the videos before. So, um, or maybe I go quickly. Then seven nine stand for the、uh, nine stand for September or the Chinese lun lunar calendar, the ninth month, and the Jewish is the seventh month. And then five five is yeah the Jewish and the Chinese calendar on the fifth. Yeah, on the fifth, both on the fifth is the the east going home. And next one, I saw、uh, blue nine and gray nine on top of each. Uh, the blue on top of the gray, and that also refer to the、uh, Gregorian calendar and the Chinese calendar. And then next one, you have Ben 二十四 Ben has got five stroke, so five plus twenty four is twenty nine. And then I have forgot this red circle inside. It should be twenty four. I'm so sorry. Twenty four plus five equal to twenty nine. Twenty four plus six equal to thirty. Okay. Next one seven five is the Jewish calendar. The fifth of the seventh month is a fifth of history. Six nine is a letter. I'm going to explain. Ah,、uh, six also thirty. Okay. Six. Uh, a clock position that six also thirty minutes, so is September the thirtieth, and then four nine stand for the、uh, lunar calendar, the ninth month of the lunar calendar on the fourth day, and there is the west going home. Okay, next one I saw the blue background with the Liu、uh, Fu. That mean、uh, the sixth day on the sixth day to see Abba Father. Okay, or if you want to refer to it as Saturday. <clears throat> that means Saturday we are already in 
in paradise in the heavenly so we will see abba father okay on saturday the day of rest sabbath day and then next one four five they are the days of rapture all right and joy on six yeah that can refer to the wedding feast of the lamb on the sabbath day that is the sixth of the uh, in the jewish calendar the sixth of uh, the the history and the chinese calendar the sixth of the ninth month and gregorian uh gregorian calendar should be the tenth month the first day of the tenth month <clears throat> the first day of the tenth month complete then into the beginning new beginning so that is uh the day I believe is the wedding feast of the land and we will see our Abba Father. That's why you got six nine uh six who <clears throat> they mean uh Sabbath to to be with the Father. Okay, let's look at number one. Okay, there is a uh, 4 45 a.m. yesterday morning. Suddenly I can see that the light becomes so bright now. You know it happened once in a while only. Okay, 4 45. Thank you, Lord. I believe the Lord is here. All right, 4.45. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, 4.45. I saw 4.54. When I saw this vision, I said, Lord, this seems like the time that we are having now. And then I look at the clock. It's 4.45. And I saw the vision 4.54. Actually, they have the same meaning, all right? So, 4.45, they mean in the heavenly, okay, going to the new heaven, new earth, okay, Tianguo, heavenly kingdom, on Thursday and Friday, Friday in the east, okay, west is Thursday. And then 4.54, also the same meaning, all right? So, next one is I saw the a square at the 9 o'clock position, 9 o'clock means September, and then there's a circle, okay, big circle, and I see like a new moon, new moon from the uh, 12 o'clock after 12 o'clock, 12 and then going to the east and then coming down to the 6, okay, stop at 6, not beyond 6, all right. So that is the new moon. So if you look at the history, the 4th and 5th, okay, and then the Chinese calendar, the ninth month, 4th and 5th, they are both are uh, at the beginning of the new month okay and that is the new moon so as you know the jews as well as the chinese they always look at the moon okay they always look at the moon to have the calendar okay next one uh so that confirmed the days that we know uh that we are going home through all the visions that have been given to us all right so let's look at number two is three pens okay it, actually the front one is like a uh, how it's like a highlighter like this okay orange color and then behind on the left is a pen but the back side of the cap is gone and then the next one is the back side of the cap still on okay so the one that is off i believe is referring to august because it's already open august and the next one not yet open is september and how about the one in front is referring to the two days that we are going home. And they can refer to the Jewish and the Chinese calendar. Okay. So the Jewish, the open cap, that one can refer to the month that we are having now is F O uh, F O the, the seventh month in the lunar calendar. Okay. Next one is lunar calendar, the eighth month. And then the Jewish is Ilu, okay? And the one in front uh, is the beginning of the ninth month in the lunar calendar and the beginning of the history, okay, history. So that can refer to the, uh, to the Jewish and the lunar calendar. Next one is I saw the Lord using his finger, okay? He drew from the middle spot, drew a sparrow, okay? Sparrow going up like one circle and then turn another circle all right so here uh totally if i look at it it's also less than two two months okay less than two months to go so we know that we still we are going home at the end of september so now it's already uh 7th of august right so it's not exactly two months it's already it's less than two months if i'm not wrong it's about 55 to 56 days to go next one after sending out the whatsapp messages i saw the pictures of this little girl 
as uh, I don't know Kelvin will put it down there or not. I hope maybe I can ask him to 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 put the pictures there. And then the girl, the little girl said, thumbs up, thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up. And then maybe I asked him to put it in the Chinese, okay, in, in both video. I hope he will do that, all right? Okay, next one. So thumbs up. And then next one is I saw the word, okay, I saw the, uh, 705. I, my spirit inside received the message first. Saying that, 世界说你好, okay? What does it mean by that? Then I saw the word in white, in white. I can still remember, like like a cloud white, there, like snow white, like this. 世界 means the world. 说, 说 means say, 你好, say, you have done well. So the world say, you well. Ni hao si you well, or I mean, actually, if you interpret it correct, Chinese is the world say you have done well. Now you say, Lily, who knows you? Only we maybe come to know you. Nobody else know you. Yes, that's correct. And then this one, okay, maybe refer to everyone who has done well. It's not only Lily, but this, okay, you say Lily. Nobody else know me. How can you say that the world know me? The Lord, the world say that I'm, well, that's what I saw and that's what I received. So I tell you what I received and I tell you what I saw, right? So remember, please, everybody. If I have seen many visions, okay? And you, you, your eyes cannot see doesn't mean that it's not there. Just like the air that you breathe. Uh, they got carbon dioxide, they got oxygen, they got nitrogen, okay, and so on. There are molecules of air, okay, all this gas in the air. You cannot see them, doesn't mean that they are not there. Like just like wind, okay, you cannot see, but you can feel, okay, if it is stronger than the, the, just a uh, gentle, very gentle, sometimes you can't feel it, okay, but you can see the leaves sway like this. But what I'm saying is, your eyes cannot see, doesn't mean that they are not there. This, the world, what I can explain is the cloud of witnesses. You see, every country has a gigantic angel in charge of the country. And every province has, every state has got angels keeping eye on watch. And then every place in the world has got angels there. And there are angels here and there. You cannot see them, doesn't mean they are not there. And there are cloud of witnesses, okay, is the patriot and the saint, all right, here and there, okay? You cannot see them, doesn't mean that they are not there, okay? So, this is talking about, in the spiritual realm, they see me, they see you, they say, see everybody, and they are the witnesses to say that whether you have done well or you have not done well, okay? Because they don't lie. Whereas this world, we follow the world, this in flesh, this world that you can see, full of lies <clears throat> but the world that you cannot see okay is still here you see heaven and earth merged together that's why the lord said father may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven you cannot see doesn't mean they are not there heaven and earth come back come together okay so that's why whatever we do do not think that we are alone no we are not alone a lot of times, you know, I say, Lord, why this happened to the little children? Why this happened to this person, that person? Every day, they got a lot of unfortunate things happening. As the, I say, yeah, I say to you already, told you already, if you pray, when things happen, you will receive message from God, say that you already pray. You should believe that I take care of the person, even though the person died in such a disastrous way. I took care of him. I took care of her. I took care of the babies. I took care of the children. So you will have the confidence because you pray. 
if you come across something happening and you don't pray, when it happened, God cannot say, "My dear, I took charge of the baby. I took charge of the baby, the child." The Lord, the Lord will not say to you. The Lord will say to you if you pray, because God see through every one of us. He knows. Okay, whether we care or we don't care. So you say, Lily, how do I pray for everyone in the world? You just pray with your heart. You really pray in spirit and in truth. The Lord, please, please bless every baby, every child, and all the parents, and every human being in this world. Pray no one will perish. Pray that no one, pray that everyone will receive salvation, Father. You say that you love the world so much. Yes, Father, you come quickly. You are coming now, Lord Jesus. You're coming quickly to rescue the world because you say in the scripture, you love the world. Yes, it is the truth. You love the world. It's the truth. You see? So I say to the Lord, Lord, you love the world. Yes, I can see that, Father. I really can see that. You care for everyone. You do not want anyone to perish. And that is the truth. So everybody, if you pray, and God shall answer you, and you should believe. Okay? So next one. Uh, next one is, 世界说你好. Okay, I already sh shared. And the next one is, the day before on the uh, 5th of August. Is I saw the small sauce ball upstairs that we've been using, and the rim there is navy blue, represent September. Only one circle, okay, September. And the Lord have a how do we call it? A plastic jar like this, okay. Inside got a lot of sugar, and he wanted to pour the sugar inside, but not yet pour because a few times already the Lord already said it's live that mean it's happening now the Lord only showed to us what's happening now so but I did not see the sugar go into the ball small ball because it's not happened yet not yet that's why no sugar in yet but the Lord was showing to me that it's going to be into the ball and I believe the little ball is talking about a group Okay, whether you're in YouTube or in WhatsApp or whatever, we are in, in a big, big group, okay, that the Lord treasures so much. And then you say, why the Lord shows sugar? Yes, what does it mean by that? That means the Lord is looking to the people, to the Christian who make him happy, who please the Lord like sugar, sweetheart, sweet. Sugar is sweet, you see. So the Lord wants us to be sweet, all right? So how to be sweet is to follow the two greatest commandments of God. To love God, to love human beings, to love people. And I share already so much about loving God, loving people today. All right, next one. I saw the four, four Chinese pancake. okay? Or you call it Lao Po Ping or Lao, Lao Gong Ping, okay? I lean four. Uh, the same size, the same shape, and then one is is lifted up. Okay, the 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 further one lifted up. So he is talking about the Chinese calendar and the Jewish calendar. So Jewish and calendar and the Chinese is going uh, stretch within this five months. Okay, but where is the Gregory? It's four months. All right, already share the month. Next one is I saw something go through the sieve, and they got. Um, how to say, how do you call it the things that is, is left on the sea, the few track or something like this, okay, that is not supposed to go through, all right. Then when the Lord took away the sea, I saw a beautiful cup, black cup, black cup of white coffee. I mean, coffee with milk and with cream or with cream. And then this coffee really looked delicious. I could feel it, you know, really delicious. And then there's a teaspoon up there in the Lord stir it to relax and stir the coffee. What does it mean by that? That means only those who've been filtered, been purified, or okay, been clean, okay, will make the Father, make God to relax and drink a cup, beautiful cup of coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. I drink one cup of coffee per day. So it's a nice 
coffee that God can relax. God is going to bring this kind of Christian into rest, to live with God. So these kind of Christian are the Christian that are sweet, okay, and they are clean. And purify. So just now about sweet, and then next one about purify. All right. So that is the uh, the day before. That's why yesterday the Lord gave me only six visions because uh, He wants me to go back. They got very important uh, visions, and so here we have three from the from the day before. And then even before that, on the fourth of August, I saw a big clock, and it's in golden color, and uh, one. Thicker or broader a hand, our hand like this, but it's long, pointing to six, and the minute hand pointing to ten. Ten means completion. Okay, ten stands for completion, and the six o'clock position also stands for. You see, it's long. You see, this one is long. It's pointing to minutes, but it is factor. Okay, broader. Yeah, it's longer. It's talking about minutes. So six o'clock position is also thirty minutes. Another word on the thirtieth is the completion day. The completion day is the thirtieth, and we know that is the is going home. Okay, there's another vision, very important. Ah,、uh, review to us again. I think it was just several months ago. Several months ago, we received the vision again. As you know, been receiving these decoding visions for, I can say, more than five years already. Okay, but initially not many, but gradually become many, many, many. Okay, the most is one hundred twenty visions a day, one day within one day. All right, also like this one. Ah,、uh, so. Six nine marker. You see marker written six nine. So nine stand for September. Six stand for what? Six stand for the thirty minutes. You see. So now we know it's September the thirtieth. The east going home. The west is nine twenty nine. So everybody get ready not to be left behind in Jesus name. Amen.